Um, you think I should get microlinks? I can't hear you. You think I should get microlinks? Um, uh, or are you getting in order? Yeah. Or what, I mean, I feel like the microlinks look flatter. Do you want? Oh, you want the? Do you want the one where the ponytail from here, mm -hmm. or you want hair hanging down here and then the ponytail there? The first one. Uh -huh. Yeah. back from getting my hair done um i just got a half up half down a ponytail and then you know the rest down um oh yeah and if i'm talking if i'm talking weird it's because i have braces so if you hear like a little lisp it's because i have extra saliva in my mouth and i can't control it um i don't have braces on the bottom yet because they have to hold on my lip is peeling that's on this lip gloss they have to um they have to do something to my top teeth before they can, you know, apply the, the braces to the bottom. So, I mean, you can't really tell anyway. I mean, when I'm talking, I'm pretty sure you can't see it that much, but I have braces. Yeah, I could have did Invisalign, but I just chose to do braces because I just felt like I was going to be more responsible just with braces. Because I feel like with Invisalign, you have to like, you know, the trays and it's just... So, I got some stuff in here. My mom picked up some stuff in here just so I can, um not have that poke my the roof in my mouth yeah so yeah i just want to tell you guys that i got my hair done as you've seen um my hairstyle is doing my hair and whenever i get home from having my hair done i always like stare at it so hard to like see if i like it i mean it's fine but like i'm a super picky person i kind of like redo my baby hairs and everything to my liking so this is the back of my hair like the first day i get something done i rarely like it I don't know why. It's because I just got to get used to it. Same thing with my braces. I'm like, do I look stupid? But honestly, I don't care because I'm going to have straight teeth and like braces are expensive. I have like three Louis bags in my mouth at this point. Maybe two because Louis bags are expensive. But it seems that braces are so expensive. So shout out to my mom and dad for getting those because this does not want to have cricket teeth. My teeth aren't horrible, but it's like. Nobody's gonna have perfect teeth. I mean, some people do, but so shout out to them because I needed braces ever since I was younger, but they just cost so much. Let me tell y'all what my dentist said. Matter of fact, she wasn't my dentist. She was like one of the ladies that handled. Assistant? Yeah, she was a dental assistant, and she kind of was the lady that handled the um. She handled like the payments and like whatever. She was trying to gear me towards getting the Invisalign in the first place. I don't know if she got commission off of it, but the way she was talking was like she got commission if I went with the Invisalign. But anyway, she was like, how old are you? And I'm like, I'm 19 or whatever. And, you know, college student. And she's like, yeah, I mean, do you want to be 19 with braces? I'm sorry. Do I want to be 30 with cricket teeth? I don't care if I if you can get braces at any age. I don't care. I don't like how she said that. She was pressing me to get the Invisalign, so that's what turned me off about it. And I don't like how she made that comment about me being 19 getting braces. Because sis, if this will help my teeth, I don't care what I have to do. And second of all, I'm kind of glad that I have braces now because if I was younger, I feel like I wouldn't be as I wouldn't be taking care of my teeth as much as I do now. This is a video of me getting ready for my vacation. So basically, I'm just get, you know showing you guys the process of me getting my hair done, nails done, stuff like that. A little get ready with me. And packing. So I'm going to vacation soon. You'll, you'll see in the next video of where I'm going. But um, I'm just bringing you guys along with me while I pack. Theme. But yeah, I want to do um, 
What's it called? French tips? Oh, French manicure. But I want to know if I can do it on my real nails. I just wanted to know if they can still make it look good with my real natural nails. I think that's the dip powder over there. Is it? Okay. Um, what's this call going on? No thanks. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just at the nail salon with my mom. You wanna be in this? No. Why? Well, too late. So she's in it. Yeah, we're just about to get our feet done. And sorry if you can't hear me because I have this mask on. But yeah, look, it's, it's not that busy. What's today? Today's Saturday and it's really not that busy in here. I'm surprised because last time I came in here, it was kind of busy. But... Yeah, I love this nail salon. You hear up in the bun? Yeah, she has the knotless braids. My friend did them. Simone, I'm gonna put her um her page on my on the screen. So you guys can go to her if you're in the area. But... You want carrots on your toenails too? No. Thanks for the way guys. No problem. She knows she's getting the glasses. That's the water. She's definitely getting the classic, guys. So you're getting the milk and honey. Yeah. That means I have to get that one too. You can get so we can be classic, equal. Can you, but you now actually, I'm gonna go ahead and have milk and honey. Or can stand on them, so I think the classic is best for you. Okay, now I don't like the classic. It just no. Your feet are not tired. Yes, they are. My feet are very tired. You need to work pedicure <laughs> as much as you work. <laughs> Talking about milk and honey. That sounds a little bit too delicate for you. <laughs> what am I doing? You need the works. <laughs> the deluxe, matter of fact. The sport. Oh, you need sport. <laughs> you need the sport for gentlemen. That's <laughs> fine. It says for gentlemen only. I know. I just have white and white too. What's pretty? Oh yeah. Okay, so it is currently like 10 o'clock, I think. Um, yeah, so it's been chilling after I got back from after I got back from the nail salon and stuff. I just was chilling, eating food or whatever. But now I'm about to finally get the motivation to pack. So I just wanted to show you guys the suitcases that I do have. They're new, actually, so they're just like red suitcases. My room isn't a mess right now, but it's a mess because like when I pack or look for clothes or anything, it's just like, it's just stuff everywhere, honestly. And I need to get stuff situated so that I can pack. Like, as you can see, like it's clothes all in my hanger. I have a shirt that's wet hanging up. I have clothes right here. I have clean clothes. Let me show you guys. I have clean clothes all in this um, basket that I need to go through. Makeup everywhere. I got the new Tiana Taylor makeup and stuff. It's just a mess. I do want to let you guys know that I got these red suitcases from Nordstrom Rack. Actually, and they were on sale, so let me focus it. It says 56, but they were actually 40% off of that. So it was 200, then it went to 56, and then it was 40% off because, you know, after, um, you know how all the stores close or whatever. So when they opened, when Nordstrom Rack opened back up, they had 40% off the entire store, so. We just got suitcases for like really, really cheap. And y'all see how much they were before. 150, 200. If I have a swimsuit in here, like y'all, I literally have stuff everywhere. I got this swimsuit from Amazon. I just have stuff all over my room. Please excuse stuff. I really like, this is for my braces. So if you see this, this is just my, um, this is just my wax for my braces. So just excuse all this. It's just random, honestly. And I am kind of like cleaning my room and packing at the same time. So it's like rambling. Probably gonna have five dinner outfits. Oh, you can actually stay over here because I feel like y'all can see me over here better. I have bathing suits, I have accessories, I have shoes, jewelry, my camera, perfume, like purses. Because y'all, like, I literally, I don't know, when I go places, I want to make sure I have options. So I might even overpack, to be honest. 
I might pack like 20 underwears. I don't know why I do that, but I like to be prepared. Deodorant, all that stuff. It's going to take me so long. I might even pack some more tomorrow because today's Saturday. So I might pack some more tomorrow because we do leave Monday morning. But I'm going to just go ahead and start rambling and just go ahead and pack. So yeah. <music> Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see, my desk is a mess. And this is the next day because I got tired last night from packing. So right now, I'm just about to pack all my makeup and stuff like that. suitcase is right here it's pretty much packed it looks empty but guys you know, i'm not staying that long and yeah it's pretty much like all my um all my like real clothes are on one side and then all my night clothes and bathing suits on the other side and underwear and stuff like that i don't really think i need that my suitcase is really bad i thought i was gonna need more room but surprisingly like i don't i, I still need to put my shoes in there so but I have a smaller suitcase for that because I'm gonna put my shoes on top of my, you know, white clothes and stuff. I have bags that I wanna take, you know, little simple stuff like that. And of course, I'm gonna take this vacation bag right here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on my Instagram, all of that. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I definitely feel like I'm not even done packing. Like, I feel like I'm leaving something. But that's pretty much everything. The only thing that I really have to do is get my shoes deodorant hair stuff the stuff like that, that i'm gonna get eventually but i kind of needed this stuff out because i'm not leaving yet so you know what i mean you leave the deodorant out and stuff because you got to use it hair stuff i mean i'm you know what i mean whatever all right let me stop rambling i'll see you guys in my next video